I grew up in Carson. You know, I grew up in the Harbor area and that's where you guys play your games and it connects those dots. People see you as that artist where you had to be a leader and I feel like with sports too, it's the same thing. Before we were scared to say how we felt, but it's like, this is a time to not be scared to say how we feel. When people see the heart and love that you put into something like this, it stays here. It's like history. It's like a page that you're writing, but through art, through paint. I feel like with every opportunity that I have to paint, I don't want to be selfish. I want to be more, you know, vocal about like the people that live here, the people that resemble, you know, what art really is. You know, that's how we live our lives. It's like, that's what reflects the people that live here that are, you know, playing across the street at the park or playing in that soccer field across the street. Like, I want to tell more of their story than anything. So right now I'm working with a nonprofit, Chela, and they focus on helping immigrant families have the resources to stay here, know their rights, and this mural represents like the unity and togetherness of every ethnicity that lives here. You know, I'm doing this more for my community and for the people that can't really speak out. I want to be able to show people that they can do this, be that voice and don't be scared to say how you feel because this isn't a time to be silent. We need to keep this movement going. We need to keep, we need this snowball effect to keep going with all this uncertainty to really grow within our communities. Rather than leaving, we need to be here and grow within. So we are here at Carson Senior High School, um, my old high school, and I actually played soccer on that field. And um, I was fortunate enough to donate this mural to my old academy. How I grew up, I didn't have much of a goal, but the times that I wanted to give up here and, and my classes, my teachers will always pull me out from this academy to like, you being away with sisters has so much potential. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Like, you need to keep going. And I ended up graduating and um, I got my last 10 credits the day of graduation. So if it wasn't for Ms. Rendon or Mr. Paez or any of these teachers that are still here, I don't think I would be doing my art the way that I am. I don't know, I don't want to cry, but like, I feel like it, but no, like it, it really hits home because like, this is where I grew up and you guys care about the people that bring your team. Like, I don't know, it, it's family. That's the whole purpose of it is connecting. Like one little significant thing, it brings a smile, it brings a memory. It brings like a heartwarming feeling. It gives you the chills. Like that is why I'm here doing what I'm doing. It's telling the stories of people and connecting it through paint. Doing murals like this for schools and like outside communities and across from the park, I want them to know like this is something that they can do. I'm a Latina that came from the hood myself. I, it takes a lot of work and dedication, but when people see that, I want to be able to give those kids opportunity to be like, yo, this is happening in your neighborhood. You can be doing the same, you know, when you get to that age, as long as you keep working towards it. You know, I want to provide that opportunity for them to be like, this is something that they can do. Mm -hmm.